We're here at the graveyard of the Paragon site where uh, Gerald Bull did all of his research for the Space Research Corporation and we've brought a couple of tourists out to the site to show them the various guns that he used in his experiments trying to shoot allegedly shoot a satellite into space by reason of a projectile instead of in the conventional manner with a booster rocket uh, these are the small caliber guns that remain seriously rusted with the sea spray of the ocean and uh, we are now heading in the direction of the large gun the main gun we would believe that this is perhaps one of the biggest bores in the world and uh, unfortunately the pasture out here has gone completely overgrown as a result of the rain that we've been having so that the majority of our barrel is now buried under the tree however I think on the other side you're going to be able to see it uh, we're heading here in the direction of the breach and the pivot point this uh, stuff that I'm photographing right here this is the old hydraulic tank as you can see there remains some of the plumbing and the piece of the motor and uh, the hydraulic coupling went across there to the there are three large um, chambers on top which you can't see from this side and uh, we need to go over to the other side but there's a way through over here you could come this way if you want okay. it's rather overgrown right now I'm going to see how much I can show you as I climb down here none of this growth was here before uh, here we are right at the breach where it was loaded as you can see and down below is the pit it's full of water right now and over there is the steps yeah the tourists were enjoying themselves in this scenery it is quite a unique find, this uh, military thing, I suppose, if you have an interest in uh, artillery. It's right on the cliff looking out to sea. Today is a beautiful day in Barbados in the Caribbean. And you really should be down here in Barbados right now if you're not here already. Right, we're looking up towards the gun though from a slightly different angle. Can you just put your... Go six, five, no, it's no. a three. Five, zero, six, three, two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, we've determined something that I didn't know before, that this is actually made in the Washington Navy Yard, and that it's actually a 16-inch yep. breech. Look at that there. I'm told this is the breech lock. I've never actually photographed this before. But clearly this must have been another experimental barrel that he was hoping to bolt, bolt together before he was summarily asked to leave the island in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, they sort of gave him 24 hours to get out the country when it really came down. So he wasn't really able to carry anything with him. But you can see the amazing thing. We're going to just give you a shot right up the barrel there. And then we'll go around and show you that's looking right down the barrel there okay mm, there we go okay these are the wrecks of the various rooms in the bunker house and 
And presumably all these tires lying around were some very from various vehicles on the property. What's this we're going to inspect now here? Is this some ancient piece of hardware? We're really not so knowledgeable about the workings of it. Tourists are fascinated by this piece of barrel. I'm up on top of the bunker house. You can come around up here if you want. The, there's a piece of barrel lying down below as you can see. And over there in the distance is the guns. And over here is the bunker. Clearly the area is in use and we're not exactly sure what they're doing with it. Because all of those wooden structures on top of that bunker were not there before.